It seems not that long ago, at least to me, that I drove up the same driveway that you all did today with some family members to tour what was then the new middle school. And I have fond memories of that day because it was a time when I was a brand new young math teacher working in another town that didn't have such an advanced learning environment that this building, then called South Junior High, would provide for our Hingham kids. Well, we just finished uh, essentially a 24-month construction period. We broke ground in June of 2012 uh, and reached uh, substantial completion on the building um, in May uh, of this year, uh, so just under 24 months of construction. You know, this school, as a model, uh, it's based on the Whitman Hanson High School, um, but that design was to the middle school level, but because we have a high enrollment at the middle school, um, it didn't have to be changed that much, but certainly it had to be adjusted to, to suit our educational program, which is a little bit different at the middle school level than at high school. Um, but this school is truly built for the 21st century uh, of learning. Um, it's got many uh, green features, um, gray water system uh, that uh, uses recycled water uh, in the flushing of the toilets and, and other plumbing. Um, we have uh, thermal panels in the walls uh, that uh, uh, keep the temperature at, at an even level uh, so the boilers don't have to run a, as much. Um, there are many, many features. Uh, you know, we have a distance learning theater on the second floor that can accommodate about 80, 85 students. Um, that's set up to connect uh, technologically with anyone across the world. So in real time, uh, you could develop uh, lessons with someone in Asia um, or communicate uh, you know, not only across town but across the country um, and certainly across the world. Um, so there are many things that await the kids when they come in in 13 days. Um, you know, we're really excited about the increase in space. It's, it's about an increase of 30 percent over the existing school which was certainly needed based on our increased enrollment and the overcrowding we were experiencing before. Um, but there's just so many things that go into uh, that, that, that are part of the school that are, it's going to make it uh, you know, really a great place for learning for, for decades to come. You know, everyone talks about the Hingham Way. The Hingham Way is hard. The Hingham Way is, is not easy. Um, and sometimes there are bumps and bruises along the way. Um, things are scrutinized, things are reviewed, things are looked at again and again and again. Questions are asked, tough questions, um, and they should be because we're talking about taxpayer dollars. Not just taxpayer dollars in Hingham, but certainly the Commonwealth because the MSBA model school program and certainly all of its programs use a penny out of the sales tax. So these are dollars from people across the Commonwealth to help build our school and create uh, you know, this great uh, future of learning for, for our kids. Um, it's, it's hard sometimes, but there is a collaborative spirit in this town. Um, there are very talented folks who are um, very generous with their time, uh, volunteer time, um, and really bring their expertise to bear on projects like this. Um, and uh, I think the collaborative spirit has made, you know, working through the approvals on this project, um, securing the funding for this project, um, although it, it was challenging, um, you know, made it really rewarding, uh, a, re a rewarding experience uh, because of the, the collaboration that was involved by, by the many, many uh, groups uh, that participate. You know, lastly, let me just thank the residents of Hingham because if you recall, not only did they support it, they supported it in one of the worst economic recessions this country has ever seen. And they trusted us here in state government and local government to get it right, and it really looks like we did. So thank you very much to everyone involved.